Today's the day. Thousands of people are arriving in Spokane ahead of Hoop Fest, the world's largest three on three basketball tournament. In less than 12 hours, the first games will tip off in downtown. So we are taking a live look right now over downtown Spokane. Right now, the streets are emptying out, but within the next few hours, those roads will all be closed and a small army will begin setting up hundreds of courts. This year, more than 6,000 teams are registered to play in Hoopfest, and a lot of those players still need to check in at the packet pickup. And that is where we find Creme 2's Shannon Mowdy right now. Shannon, how's it going down there? Well, I'm here at the packet pickup area and you can see that we have quite a crowd, not the biggest crowd that we have seen so far today, but we are expecting some more people to drop on by as we get closer to that deadline and that deadline as you heard those uh, 6,000 or so teams, thousands of teams, thousands of people, if they want to participate in Hoop Fest this weekend, they need to be at the packet pickup by 7 o'clock tonight to check in. Spokane's Hoop Fest weekend always brings in the crowds, and many of them start here. Hello. At Jennifer Duran's line at check in. I like to do the uh, setting up on Thursday and then check in on Friday. And then I'm, yeah, I'm done. In 13 years of volunteering, she's seen a lot. Yeah. Decades of friendship. So, how many years have you done Hoop Fest? Uh, since 98. So. Wow. Okay. Right on. And the start of new player, Pax. Wolf Pack yeah. Bauer. And how long has the Wolf Pack Bauer been doing this? This is their first okay. year. They're only eight. Okay. Or even okay. final farewells. So whether it's pure excitement. And you brought your friend with you. I did. Well, hello there. Or pregame nerves. It's okay, sweetheart. Yeah. Players have a big weekend ahead. And it all starts here. So I was told by one of the volunteers here that only about 1,100 people, teams, picked up packets during check-in yesterday. So with several thousand teams participating this weekend, you can expect that we are going to see quite a bit more crowds and people coming through here over the next few hours. Again, packet pickup, that deadline for participants tonight is 7 o'clock. Shannon Mowdy, Prep 2 News. Good reminder, Shannon, thank you very much. And also happening on this Hoop Fest Friday, some young basketball players got a chance to learn some skills from the pros. The Vandals Skills Clinic helping young hoops hopefuls learning the fundamentals. Players from the Idaho men's and women's basketball teams taught those kiddos everything from dribbling to passing to how to warm up. And many of these players also used to play at Hoop Fest, like Idaho senior Ashlyn Wallace did from the age of five up. It means a lot just because I was in their shoes and I know how much it meant to have like older people guiding you and wanting to make you excited to play basketball. So I'm glad I'm able to do that for these kids. And at six tonight, crews will begin closing off the roads for Hoop Fest. There are limited places where you can park, so keep that in mind. However, the parkade located on West Main between Howard and Stevens will have parking passes available. Daily parking passes will cost $30. Weekend passes will cost $50. And another option will be to take advantage of the STA Hoop Loop. Bus fare will be free during Hoop Fest weekend, all thanks to the 50th anniversary celebration of Expo 74. The Jefferson Hoop Fest shuttle will run every 10 minutes on Saturday from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. and on Sunday from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And right now on creme.com, we've got everything you need to know about Hoopfest, including a full list of all the street closures. We've made it very easy for you to find all that information. Just text the word Hoopfest to the number there on your screen, 509-448-2000, and we'll send that link directly to your phone. And by the way, you can also text us your pictures from Hoopfest this weekend to that same number. We would love to see them, and you might just see them air right here on Creme 2 News.